Hi everybody, in this video we'll be doing this challenging acid-base question and we'll be doing the whole of 8.2 but what I'm looking forward to doing with you is 8.2.2, the six mark question, calculating percentage impurities. Grab your pens, grab your papers, do it with me, let's go. They say a solution of sodium hydroxide, which we know is a base, a strong base, is prepared by dissolving 6 grams of solid NaOH in 500 cubic centimeters of water. Now, they don't say the words in this question, but this is basically preparing a standard solution. So a standard solution is a solution when I know the concentration of the solution. They then say that this solution reacts completely with 10 grams of impure ammonium chloride. They give you the equation, and 8.2.1, which is where we're going to be starting, asks me to calculate the concentration of the NaOH solution. So essentially, to calculate the concentration of the standard solution. Now, generally, when they ask us to do this, they might not even ask us to do this in a separate question. They could have combined this inside that question. You would have to know that I have to calculate the concentration because I'm given a mass and I'm given a volume. Remember, to calculate concentration, we can either use this formula. Concentration is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass multiplied by the volume. Or we can use two separate formulas. One, where we first calculate the number of moles using mass divided by molar mass. And then, once we've got the moles, we use this formula for concentration. So whatever moles we get there, we'll sub in over here. Basically, this formula on the left combines these two on the right. So I'll be using the one on the left for the purpose of this question. So you write your formula first. Then your mass is 6 grams. Your molar mass you work out on the periodic table, you take sodium, which is 23, you take oxygen, which is 16, and you take hydrogen, which is 1. You add those together, so the atomic mass numbers, and I get 40. And then the volume, when working out concentration, because remember our unit for concentration is mole per cubic decimeter, dm to the power of negative 3, very important that it's a negative, the concentration is measured in mole per cubic decimeter. So my volume must be in cubic decimeters. To get it from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters, I simply divide by 1,000. So I'm going to have 0, 0,5 cubic decimeters. And for concentration, I get 0, 0,30 moles per cubic decimeter, just like that. They then say that this solution, so the solution that we just calculated the concentration of, so let's just write down what we know. We know that the NaOH, that solution contains a mass of 6 grams, the volume 0 0.5 cubic decimeters, and the concentration 0 0.3 moles per cubic decimeter. That solution reacts completely with 10 grams impure ammonium chloride. They want to know the percentage purities in the ammonium chloride. Now, just to recap or to refresh your memory, I hope you remember that when we say that a substance is impure, like yeah, 10 grams of impure ammonium chloride, what that means is that NH4Cl, the 10 grams is a 10, that 10 grams, not all of that is pure. This is called impure. I often like to think of impure as the total. Why do I think of it as a total? Because of this 10, some of the 10 is going to be pure ammonium chloride. And then the other bit, the leftover bit is going to be what we call impurities. So impurities can be like organic matter or dirt or other substances. Basically, it's not this chemical compound. So, for example, if I've got 10 grams, maybe 8 of it is pure and 2 of it is impurities. Or maybe ten, uh, 9 of it is pure and 1 of it is impurities. Does that make sense? But the total is impure. Now, when I ask you to calculate the percentage purity, you should know that the formula is as follows. It's they want to know how much of this total, how much of the impure stuff is pure. So your numerator contains the pure stuff. So pure moles, the bottom impure moles or pure mass over impure mass, as long as your top and bottom are in the same unit. Then to calculate the percentage impurities, there's a slight difference in this calculation. The bottom of the fraction for both of them is impure, impure. 
it's like your total. But if I want to calculate the percentage impurities, then at the top of the fraction, I will have the amount of impurities. So the amount of impurities over the impure, over the total times 100 versus percentage purity, which is your pure stuff over your impure times 100. I hope that makes sense. So in this question, I'm not asking you to calculate percentage purity. I want the percentage impurities. I'm asking you to use this formula. And I hope again that it makes sense that my impure is my total. What makes up the impure is a little bit of pure stuff. The rest is impurities. So if I add these two things together, it gives me my impure. I have a whole video on this if you want to go check it out, but let's carry on with the question. So my goal in these questions is to find out the pure amount. If I can find out the, impu the pure amount, this amount that I'm highlighting here, then I will be able to find out how much impurities I have. So I want to find out the pure amount. And what's true about the pure amount is my calculations, my stoichiometry, my calculations always give me the pure amount. So what I'm going to be doing in this question is I'm first going to work out the amount of moles of NaOH that was reacted. I know I know the mass, I know I know the volume, and I know the concentration, but I'm going to work out the number of moles. There's different ways to do this. I can either use this formula or I can use this formula. I just want to show you quickly that both will get you the same answer. So this is for moles of NaOH. The mass is 6 and the molar mass, remember we said, is 40. That is 0, 0,15 moles. If I wanted to do concentration, remember we worked out the concentration to be 0, 0,3 and the volume we said was 0, 0,5. So 0, 0,3 times 0, 0,5, the moles is 0, 0,15. You get the same answer either way. So it doesn't matter how you do it. I just want you to calculate the number of moles. And this is the number of moles of the NaOH that reacted. And it says we're reacting it completely, which means all of this is going to get used up. Then what we're going to do is, and this is how stoichiometry works, if you know the amount of NaOH that reacted, you can use a mole ratio to find the moles of the other reactant, ammonium chloride, that reacted. So the mole ratio is a one to one ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to write, okay, well, NaOH to NH4Cl, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We get that from our balanced chemical equation, one-to-one. -one. So what that means is I know that if I react, if I use up, react 0, 0,15 moles of NaOH, I will also react 0, 0,15 moles of NH4Cl. And again, what the stoichiometry tells me, what the calculations tell me is always going to be pure. So I know the pure moles of NH4Cl. Then, remember... I'm trying to work out percentage impurities. And what do I know in the question? Let's just revisit the question. What I know so far is that my total, my impure is 10 grams. So my impure, the bottom of my fraction is 10 grams. So I need to work out, I'm going to work in grams. So if I know grams, impure grams at the bottom, then I need to work out the, at the top of the fraction must also be in grams. Okay, so... Do you see that at the moment I have pure moles? I don't want moles, I want grams. So how do I convert this to mass in grams? I use the following formula. This formula once again. But now in this case, sorry, I'm writing this all on top of one another because I don't have much space. I'm working out the mass in grams of NH4Cl. The moles of NH4Cl is 0, 0,15. I got that from the mole ratio over here. The mass is what I'm looking for. And the molar mass is 53,5, according to the periodic table. If I have to write that out a bit neater, it would look like this, 53,5. So therefore, the mass of NH4Cl is 8.025 grams. Now, again, I'm, I repeat this because it's so important. The mass that we calculate using stoichiometry, so our calculations, our mole ratio, and then our formulas. This mass over here is pure. So our stoichiometry, our calculations, as I said earlier, always gives me the pure, the pure mass, the pure moles, and therefore the pure mass. So what we have according to calculations is the following. 
10 grams is my total. It's my impure. It was given in the question over there. Then according to my stoichiometry, I got 8,025. As I mentioned, the calculations will always give me the pure. So 8,025 grams is pure. So if 10 grams is the total and 8,025 grams is pure, how much is the impurities? Well, you take the total minus what is pure, and that gives me the amount of impurities, 1,975 grams. That is the amount of impurities. And again, it makes sense because if I add these two things together, it needs to give me the total, it needs to give me the impure. Now the question wanted the percentage impurities. So we will be using this formula. The percentage of impurities is you put the amount of impurities at the top, so 1,975 divided by your total or your impure times 100. And I got 19,75%. If this method, if you don't like this method and you just want to learn one of these formulas, let's say you just want to learn the percentage purity formula, you can do it. Then what you would do is you would do the following. You would work out the percentage purity. So percentage purity would be your pure, pure stuff over your impure, your total times 100, and you would get 80.25%. And then you would say, well, 80.25% is the pure stuff. So therefore the impurities is the other stuff. So then you would say 100 minus 80.25, and you will get the same answer, 19.75% just like that. There we go. So basically, just over 80% of NH4Cl is actual pure NH4Cl. The other almost 20% is impurities, is rubbish, is dirt, is other substances. I hope that that was helpful. Check out other acids and bases past paper questions linked in the playlist in the description box and please subscribe Ooh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet just for that you need to and i'll see you in another lesson very soon bye everybody